Good morning, and welcome to The Reluctant Chef. My name is Bob, and indeed it is morning here in The Reluctant Chef kitchen. So today we're going to make a breakfast. And in keeping with The Reluctant Chef's approach to cooking, uh, it's going to be a very basic, simple breakfast of oatmeal. In order to move confidently and comfortably through the cooking process, I like to follow the process of mise en place, meaning have all your stuff together before you start cooking. All we're gonna need this morning is three quarter cup of oatmeal, one and quarter cups of water, a pinch of salt, and about a teaspoon of butter. Uh, it's not a precise measurement. Uh, I find that it adds a little flavor and uh, improves the texture just a little bit. And then of course, uh, I also have ready at hand the pan that I need to cook it in and the spoon that I need to stir it with. Okay, so now you'll notice that I've moved everything over here so that it's exactly where I need it as I go through this process. So, all we're gonna do is pour in our water. Like I said, just, just a pinch of salt. That's all it, all it needs, just a little bit. And our teaspoon or so of butter. Now, we will put fairly high heat under the water because we want to bring it to a rapid boil before we slide in the oats. Put the lid on the pan and that'll help it come to a boil faster. Okay, now, while we wait for that to boil, um, you notice I said that we're using old-fashioned oats. They are a little more nutritious than quick oats. Uh, I think they produce a, a finer texture, a more mouth-appealing texture than quick oats. And the truth is, it doesn't take that much longer to cook them. Okay, let's see if our water has come to a rapid boil yet. Not quite, it, it, it's sort of stirring in there, but it, it's not really boiling yet. So while we wait for that, let me say a word or two about the point of view of the reluctant chef. The reluctant chef is for people like myself who must cook for themselves and for those that we care about, but it's a necessary activity, not an avocation. The Reluctant Chef approach is good humored, simple, basic. Basic ingredients, basic methods, basic utensils. The other thing you'll notice is that I don't make any assumptions about your skill in the kitchen. So I show every little step and I try to remember to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So you're not left wondering, how did he get from A to B? I'm hoping that it's all there for you. Now, let's check again here. Ah, very good, very good. We've got a rapid boil going here, and it's time to slide in our oats. There we go. Just give it a little stir. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for it to return to rapid boil. You do wanna keep an eye on the water when it's boiling because if you let it boil down, and you've got much less than the prescribed amount of water, you can end up with something that looks like a pan full of wallpaper paste. So you don't want to, you don't want to let that water boil too long uh, before you slide in the oats. Now, at this point, we want to turn it down to a simmer. All right, now, this is gonna take 10, 12 minutes for it to cook down to the point of perfection. So while it does that, I am gonna go shave and get dressed for work. And by the time I get back, we'll be there. All right, let's check one more time. Oddly enough, with oatmeal, there is in fact that perfect moment between being too soupy and being a dried out mass. There we go, there we go. Done to perfection. So we'll just pour it out into our cereal bowl. Mm. Now, you know, you can doctor up your oatmeal with really anything you can think of, people like uh, fresh fruit, you know, a slice of strawberry or two, maybe some blueberries, something like that. Since I'm watching my calories, what I do do is sprinkle on some ground cinnamon. It gives it a little extra perk. Mm. That is really, really good. And, you know, I mentioned nutrition earlier, and I did just want to make a point that that kind of serving size gives us somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of our minimum daily requirement for dietary fiber and 
I think about 15% of our minimum daily requirement for iron. No cholesterol, very little fat, very few calories. And of course it's very filling, so it keeps us going until lunchtime. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed making it. And at that, I leave you with my best wishes. <laughs>